Welcome back to another episode of the Canadian Watch Monkey. And uh, today I'm going to be testing my Zeno, uh, what do they call it, Super Precision. Uh, and uh, before I test it, uh, let's just turn this on. I've got to find out the lift angle for this watch. I actually did that ahead of time, so I don't really need to do that. But what I will do is uh, go in there into settings. Whoops, turn that off again. And uh, I will leave that at auto detect, the beat rate. The lift angle is 52, which is incorrect. I've got to get that changed to 50. Okay, and then there we go. Test period, 12 seconds, language, English. Okay, so we're good to go here. So beat rate not detected, obviously. So here's the watch in question. Okay, so let's see what it's running at. I, I know it's running a little bit fast, hence this, and I've also pulled out my demagnetizer as well. So we'll put face up and uh, let's see what happens here. I know it's running a little bit fast. So, okay, so we're running uh, around 30 seconds fast per day, which isn't horrible, but still it's a little bit fast. And I thought, you know what? Let's see if a little bit of uh, demagnetizing will uh, correct this or help it out a little bit. So we're going to find out firsthand. And by the way, the where you find this chart is, uh, you just go online, look up uh, lift angles for watches. And I use the Watch Guy UK. Uh, I will leave a link to that as well. Uh, <clears throat> so you guys can figure out uh, what the lift angle is on your particular movement. Okay, so you can see the watch is definitely running a little bit fast. The beat error is pretty good at 0.1 that milliseconds. That's great. And uh, the amplitude at uh, is uh, good as well at 272. So everything else is looking good. It's just running a little bit fast. Not horribly so, but it is running a bit fast. So I've got my trusty demagnetizer here. And I'm going to show you how that's used. And we'll see if that helps. So I'm just going to pause this for a sec. Let me uh, pop this off. And uh, let's take a look and see if this is going to help at all. Now, ideally, I should have taken the bracelet off um, before I do this, but I'm going to see if I can do it without. Uh, you know what? I'm going to need to. Hang on a sec. I just need my spring bar tool here to pop that off, and uh, we'll get that to happen for you guys. Ah, forget it. Okay, let's see if that made any difference. Well, it definitely did make a difference. Damn, I wish I would have taken the time to take it off the bracelet, but you can see we're down to plus 11 seconds. The, the beat error is down to zero, so it's running perfectly. Hmm. Let's just give it a, a second. We'll let it run at this angle for a little bit. Actually, I should probably move the watch back into here. So if you guys haven't already picked up a, a demagnetizer, Best money you're going to spend on a watch uh, for watch tools and that. So they're not expensive. They're about 15 bucks on AliExpress. So you can see with that simple demagnetizing there, uh, it, it worked pretty good. Typically, though, I'd like to take that watch off of the bracelet. I wasn't thinking and I just wanted to get this done. So anyway, let's just change the angles a little bit and see how we make out here. Okay, see if that makes a difference at all. Mm 
Okay, so we're going to turn the watch now completely face down. Just let me turn this around here like this. Oi, so you can see some craziness there. All right, so let it settle in a bit. I'll pull it back out for you guys. Give it a minute. Okay, so face down, the watch isn't too happy. <laughs> uh, let's move it back up again. So you can see the importance of testing watches at different angles. So you can see this one's a little bit sensitive with uh, the positions. Typically, most will just test it in one or two positions. You can see it's starting to settle down again, so that's good. Plus 15. Let's see what comes back at now. All right. So yeah, uh, definitely, the watch is definitely running better after I demagnetized it. So it was probably just a little bit demagnetized. Okay, so I'll just go back to the face up position again. So I'm just gonna turn this around and that's just straight face up. And so for a watch that's, uh, I would say that watch has got to be about 10 years old. It's running fine. I'm, I'm very happy with that. So the demagnetizer definitely worked. So just remember when you're using this machine here, you've got to take the time to find out what that lift angle is. And uh, like I said, you just go to, just go online and just search up lift angles uh, chart. And uh, I just use a watch guy one. It's the first one that came up. So yeah. This little guy here, the Rolex Homage, is running very well. So that's it. That's a wrap. Take care. And uh, if you guys haven't already done so, please like and subscribe. Thanks.